And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2017 Japan K1 Lightweight World Championship Tournament, the Yoyogi National Gymnasium. In the second gymnasium, we've got 4,800 screaming fans ready for this next bout to kick off. In the red corner, Ren Hiromoto taking on. In the blue, Brees Del Val. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. And let's see what happens in the ring tonight. That's right, some quarterfinal action here about to kick off. To uh, to young fighters here, uh, Hiramoto 18, Dorao at 17. Look at these guys. Excuse me, and, and already um, 20 bouts um, does Dorao have under his belt. 18 wins, two losses, one draw, handful of KOs. Hiramoto very similar as mm. well, 20 bouts, 16 wins, four losses. It's a real even matchup here. Yeah, to see what happens. Big low kick. And Hinomoto. Looks like uh, Val. Not much of a leg kicker. Look, looking to uh, create some distance with the front kicks there. And Ren just kind of staying out, staying out of reach. Interested to see. Ooh, but yeah, Ren is just hit, hitting heavy. He is hitting heavy. Big, ooh, big low job. kick. That did not tickle. No, not at all. Punching. Punching high, kicking low. Um, and then they win with some real uh, snap on the strikes. Mm. Mm. Bouncing the front leg, coming to maintain a little more distance. I, I, I get the, uh, the impression that he's going to try to march forward into that kneeing ring. Mm. Yeah, Randy's not giving him a target to hit at all, man. It really nice thing. Oh, and those low kicks, too. Well, you're trying to check him, but man, you, can't, you just can't let those things land no, at all. No. Oh, nice, nice move there. A little, uh, it's in Japanese, Tatsumaki. Uh, a little whirlwind, tornado, blow. Ooh. Oh, that, yeah, that low kick is, is landing. Mm. I was really gonna watch out for that thing. And you can see now he's picking up the pace, mm -hmm. really marching forward. He doesn't want to eat on the way in. No. Very different style, stylistic matchup here. Totally. Well, and to be able in the K1 ring to fight at that close range when you can't pinch, um, the ball's going to have to also show up some of his hand game, mm -hmm. some of those, those punches, and um, you know, Kiramoto can take advantage of the close range. Ooh, big, big, big jab, stuck him up. Yeah, right through the middle, yeah. threading the needle. The ball doing a great job of still keeping up the pressure, even though he's losing mm -hmm. the battle. He hasn't given up on the war. No, definitely not. He, he can land a big, big shot. He, oh wow! Okay, looks looks like he just really wants to, to uh, work Ren's face, man. He's not really concerned about working the body so much or, or Ren's legs. Ooh. It's diminishing returns when you start throwing the spinning stuff mm. without setting it up too much. Yeah, especially in the first round. But, uh, yeah, if he keeps the pressure up, you know, Hinamoto will will get tired and will slow down. Um, but yeah, there's not many rounds. There's only three rounds, yeah. so he's got to land something something big and telling while he moves in there. That was a good round for Ren. Um, yeah, and, uh, you know, the foul might be able to, as you said, you know, wear Ren down and you know, get him against the ropes and then maybe we'll see what he has in store. I guess he's gonna, oh. No way, now we are there. Watching out a great Japanese boxer. Yeah, Del Balls, you know, he's, if he sticks to his game plan, it can work. Um, it's a gamble, but he's gotta keep it up. Um, and Hiromoto Ren doing a good job of countering that game plan. Great with the lead hand, sticking, sticking with the jab, and then chopping the kick underneath. So yeah, Hiromoto not really having to change much. Second it, it, second it, it will be interesting to see yeah. what Del Ball comes out and does here in the second round. Yeah, sure. His corner told him to, uh, yeah, maybe um, not eat so many punches. Yeah, he's got to, you know, if he can land some knees, mm -hmm. um, slow the punch game of Hiromoto down a little bit, and he's got a chance, but he's got to get to work. Yeah, right away. It's three minutes in this second round. Ooh. A little bit knee underneath. It looks like Ren is turning up. 
his, his aggression. Ooh, some big, big right hands here. All right, he put a little bit of pressure on himself, not fighting off the back foot there, but mm. fighting off the front foot. Yeah, my, yeah. Ooh, good moves, but as as you said, you know, a little bit telling. Mm. You know, I think Ren, Ren saw that coming. Yeah, I mean the, the spinning stuff, especially as a long, long fighter, can really pay off if you use it at the right time. Mm. Of the it's just your go-to move all the time. And it, it actually is, mm. can work to the opposite and put you in a dangerous position. Mm. Big, big low kick there. Another big low kick there. Yeah, his leg is roasted, man. Yeah. He's definitely feeling it. I like the knees, though. He's working the knees underneath. I would venture to guess his corner told him to throw him. Little, little clinch actually on there. He has to be careful in the clinch. Yep, this, he's got to make the knees flow in to the boxing game. Now Ren going back to, it, uh, to his game plan from the first round. Ooh, wow, nice, nice moves there. I really like... I really like his um, his confidence in his spinning moves. Yeah, and that one, even though it hit the guard, um, you Ooh. have to absorb that, you know, like it still hurts. Yeah. And the knee is out. He's looking a lot better this round. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely looking a lot better. Definitely landing a lot more, a lot more blows. And I think it, what you said has happened. You know, Ren is, you know, slightly mm -hmm. more tired than he was in the first round as, you know, as you know, we all know that happens. <laughs> yeah. And um, looks like uh, Deval is banking on that. He's sticking to his game plan. Um, you know, for 17 years old, uh, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Got probably got a great corner. Um, you know, giving him some advice as well. And yeah, yeah the, the the pressure builds and stamina goes. Kumoto Ren not looking to sharp the footwork, mm. not to sharp just from the entire. Yeah. And you know, this doesn't always look good right now because now he's retreating yes. and, and eating shots and, and taking shots. Whereas before he was you know, taking a back step, sticking the jab, mm -hmm. taking a back step. He's also taking some shots to the body, mm -hmm. and that's exhausting. Yeah. Looks like Ren's coming back with those body shots. Talk about body shots. Look like Ren got, Ren got his second second win. Yeah, and three unanswered blows like that to the body. Eight more. It's great for the judges. Ooh. Ah, yeah. Good. Well, what a what a round this mm. was! Wow, good adjustments there by uh, Del Ball. For yeah, sure. You almost had it, if, but those those last second, just yeah. I think Ren might have pulled the carpet right under his feet. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. And even if they weren't significantly damaging, you know the judges see that. That's three unanswered blows. You got to like throw something back at least, yeah. even if they were on the elbow. Ba ba mm -hmm. ba. Just is not. A great impression to leave with the people scoring yeah. the points. Ooh, yeah. Tallying the points. Yeah, this has become a great match. Yeah, this is a good match. Down to the wire here. I think, you know, Ren might still have a little little more of an advantage, but uh, the ball is definitely dangerous. Mm -hmm. And if, if one of those spinning blows do, do, do lands on the spinning kick, so even a spinning back fist might, might, uh, might hit uh, Hiramoto in, a, in, in this sweet spot. Yep, it's the game changer. He's got the game changer. And, you know, great matches like this can fall into a few different categories, but what is so interesting here now is the stylistic match, mm -hmm. the difference yeah, in styles. Yeah, very style. different, very different. You're know, kind of coming into the third round here. Well, Del Val's got some ground to make up, but it, the momentum is, is with him. Yes. So it should be a great round. The fighters know that they have to do something big this round to really make it a, a definitive win with, with mm -hmm. you know uh, either a, either a KO or uh, or a definitive win with the judges so we need some big shots here mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. the ball fighting off the back foot a little bit there somewhat effectively but getting stuck on the ropes mm -hmm. and that's the problem yeah mm. whereas when Fumamoto was fighting off the back foot he was moving he was mm -hmm. In that first round, you know, he didn't get caught in the corner, but Ball needs to make sure that he follows those same principles. Mm, nice body shot there. Yeah. Oh, at least he's in a bad position because he can't clinch. Yep. Great, great technique there from Kinomoto, man, just letting a series of shots go. Mm. Mm. 
some big, 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 big shots. Um, that, leg, that leg is hurting. Yeah. And he did a good job in the second round of shutting down the, the late kick game. Mm -hmm. But he needs to make sure that he doesn't let Akira Moto get back on it, man, because yeah. that leg is, that leg is Ooh, hurting. Nice kick, man. Wow. But not, not, not enough. Yeah, he's yeah. That it's a great move, but it's just not it's just not working to its uh, you know to its greatest uh, you know, capacity right now. You know, um, I think you know Ren's guard is too tight. Yeah, Ren, Ren kind of uh, you know look, looking for really, really sitting back and watching, and waiting for too many moments here. He needs to fill in some of these gaps yeah. with some strong um, strong shots. Uh, you know, really secure the match strongly. But still, I think, you know, you never know how the judges are going to do these yeah. things. Mm. But those, those, yeah, those body shots, man, they can't be denied. They oh, look, they're great. They, yeah, they look so, you know, some of the cleanest, cleanest hits of, of this fight you know, has, 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 you know, has been Ren's body shots, just like right now, really turning in there. Turn up the pressure a little bit there momentarily. That was a good moment for him. Mm -hmm. Looks like yeah, the volley's uh, a little more tired. Yeah. Big yeah. front kick yeah. right, yes. right, in, right in the right in the stomach, and that just is going to make you even more tired. Ten seconds left here. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, they're kind of they both figuring each other's game plans mm -hmm. out a little bit. That's when it comes down more to stamina. Yeah. And Kiramoto just breaking away Think a little so. bit there with his yeah. own. Just yeah. digging a little bit deeper. Yeah. Well, if he just had a little more in the gas tank mm -hmm. there, um, that, you know, when, you, when you figure out your opponent stylistically, yeah. you're going to have to fall back a little more in your physical attributes. Yeah. But the ball was leaving his stomach wide open. Mm -hmm. Ren, yeah, I mean, you know, this might, this might be a, you know, a bit tough for the ball. The, the, the rule set. He looked like you know he really wanted to clinch, especially in the yes. first round. He really mm -hmm. wanted to like get those knees in there. Um, it was impossible. Oh, look at some uh, brotherly love going on between two fighters. It's always good to see the respect in the ring, the respect for mutual hard work. I think the hair match is a in that picture. Jachi Wada, 29, 29, Dolo. Jachi Nagase, 29, 28, Ada Kiyoko. Don't forget, eating it out. I don't think it's a bad call. No. Great match, regardless, the fans really treated there with some awesome you know, style between those two fighters. Yeah, yeah. A great fight, um, and I think yeah, Ren's hands really won that match for him. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're absolutely right. Those those body shots, um, they're easy for the judges to see. They were sharp, mm -hmm. and there were a couple just unanswered blows. Mm -hmm. you know, excellent fight. Well, they have it at the K1 World Grand Prix 2017 Japan K1 Lightweight World Championship Tournament at the Yogi National Gymnasium Second Gymnasium. See you next time.